How do you invest in franchises and why? My name's Kenny Rose. I've spent over a decade in the world of franchising, from helping people find and buy franchises to startups in the franchise world. So why would you even want to invest in a franchise? Well, there's actually a lot more to franchising than you're probably aware of. Most people think about French fries and hamburgers, but franchising covers over 100 different industries, things like waste management, to hair care, to automotive, Really any business you can think of, there is a franchise for it. In fact, there's over 800,000 locations of franchises in the United States, and they employ over 8 million people, making it a significant part of the US economy. In fact, at over $800 billion in annual revenue, it's over 3.5% of the US economy. So there's a lot of money going around. People need to find the right ways to get into franchising. And that's what we're gonna to discuss today. How to get into franchising, what types of franchising there are, and how to research. When it comes to the benefits of investing in a franchise, you have to think about what starting a business on your own is typically like. You need to find a unique idea to do it, get a customer base, build the back end of that business, and then scale it up from there. Franchising is a way of skipping that first five to 10 years of owning a business. You can hop in into a direct business plan, know how to go to market, and know how to scale that business. And you could be good at things like accounting, but then you might not be great at things like marketing and hiring and HR. And that's the beauty of franchising, is be able to have all these different aspects of the business ready for you. Unlike owning other types of businesses, franchising offers a lot more resilience than other types of ways to own a business. The reason for this is that you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. You see, if you start your own individual business, you're gonna have to figure out how to deal with different problems that come up as they do. But in the franchise world, you have both other franchisees who have been through these different pushbacks, but there's also the corporate headquarters that offers support for every aspect of the business that you could run into problems with. As times and technology change, your business has to as well. But being a single owner operator of a business, it's very hard to do that and pivot on your own. But when you're part of a franchise system, you're contributing to a head franchisor that's able to pivot with these times in technology and offer that support to help you do it on your own. Another little known advantage of owning a franchise is when it comes to when you're exiting your business. See, if you start a business from scratch, you're going to have to find someone who's going to be able to replace what you've done in that business. In the franchise system, it's a lot easier to replace yourself because you're following a playbook there. On top of that, you're part of a larger system that typically has something like notability, brand recognition, a place in the community. And they know that they're gonna be able to also sell that business again in the future. When it comes to owning a franchise, not all types are run the same way. So now we're gonna talk about the different ways you can own and operate a franchise. When it comes to finding a franchise that's right for you, it's really important to find one that fits your own lifestyle. That's what is your budget like? What is your unique skill set that you can offer in running that franchise? Do you have a great skill set or are you really more of a project manager? And then finally, you want to find something that really goes with your lifestyle, what your goals are. Are you trying to retire in the next couple of years or are you trying to scale this into a hundred location empire? Based on these factors, besides just the brand and what the industry is, the type of ownership is going to change a lot too. You could be a hands-on owner operator, which some brands require you to be. This means you're going to be in that location every day. You're going to see the customers. You're going to work with employees. But for others, that's not what they're looking for. They may want to run something a little more hands-off and look at a franchise that's more semi-absentee run. When a franchise is semi-absentee, the business systems are in place that it's more possible to have a manager run the business for you so you can work more higher level on the business. Another way you can get into franchise ownership is through publicly traded stocks. Now, of the 4,000 different brands out there, only a few of them are gonna be publicly traded. And when you're investing in these stocks, you're investing in the franchisor. That's the parent entity that all the franchisees are paying royalties to. But if you're looking for something that's more of a cash flowing investment or something that's not as correlated with the stock market, that's where direct franchise ownership can be more beneficial. And as always, it's good to diversify between these different styles of ownership. The newest way that you can invest in franchises is actually absentee. And you do that with a platform like Franchairs. Franchairs allows you to invest in a portfolio of franchises for as little as $500. The benefits of fractionally investing in franchises is that you're able to diversify across different types of franchises, both brands and industries. You're also diversifying away from the stock market and other types of investments that you may already have. One of the biggest advantages of passively investing in franchises is you're able to develop another type of passive income stream. 
more and more investors are looking to stack additional income streams because this makes them less dependent on their day job. Additionally, as you get closer to retirement, Social Security doesn't allow you to maintain your lifestyle. Passive income gets even more important as you get to retirement age. Social Security is really not enough to maintain most people's lifestyles once they start getting paid by it. So they want additional passive income streams so that their monthly income is much closer to what they were doing when they were actively working. Fractional franchise investing is going to allow you to invest directly into your own community. Here based in Chicago, soon enough we'll have a Chicago franchise fund. So where I'm going to go eat, get my hair cut, go work out, get my oil changed at, are all going to be parts of my portfolio. And that way, when I'm spending money like I would anyway, it's actually going directly to my own investments. So check out Franchairs and see if there's an opportunity that could be right for you now or in the future. Don't forget to comment with some questions, hit that like button, and smash subscribe right there.